big news for triple negative breast cancer. Uh, this week is the ESMO meeting, the European Society for Medical Oncology, and one of the studies presented at this meeting was the updated survival data for the Keynote 522 trials, also published in the New England Journal of Medicine. So let's talk a little bit first about what this trial is. This trial looks at adding immunotherapy to chemotherapy for patients with stage two to three breast cancer. The immunotherapy added was pembrolizumab or Keytruda. Patients were randomized to receive either chemotherapy alone or chemotherapy with immunotherapy. They got this all in the neoadjuvant setting, meaning before surgery. Then they went on to have surgery and then they received adjuvant Keytruda alone or placebo for nine more treatments. So it was a total of one year of either immunotherapy or placebo, depending on what they were randomized to. Now, the first data published from this study was back in 2020, and it showed that the addition of immunotherapy increased pathologic complete response, meaning more patients were having a complete response, no more cancer found at the time of surgery. Then in 2022, we saw event-free survival data. And what we learned was that at, th at three years of follow-up, there was a 37% lower risk of recurrence or dying for patients who received immunotherapy compared to patients who didn't. And now we are seeing the five-year survival data. And this is really important for two reasons. The first is that when patients with triple negative breast cancer recur, they do tend to recur within that five-year mark. So survival data at five years is really monumental. Number two, overall survival is like the gold standard for a clinical trial. You know, when we give patients a new drug or a new regimen that has more side effects, what we want to know is, is this drug going to help? Is it going to help patients live longer? So let's get to the results. Bottom line, the addition of immunotherapy improved overall survival by nearly 5%. That means nearly 5% more patients were alive at five years because they received immunotherapy. And the breakdown of the numbers was 86.6% of patients in the immunotherapy arm were alive at five years compared to 81.7% of patients who did not receive immunotherapy that were alive at five years. So nearly 5% improvement. That is really, really significant. And I know it doesn't seem like much, but actually that's a big, big improvement in oncology. In terms of the breakdown between those who received a pathologic complete response and those who didn't, the addition of Keytruda and the benefit of Keytruda is even more monumental in patients who did not have a complete response. It has even a greater benefit than that 5%. It turned, it turned out to be about a 6% benefit if you did not have a pathologic complete response. Now, one of the things that I think is really important to point out is that this trial does not include patients who do not have a complete response and either get put on Zolota or get put on a Laparib if they have a PARP inhibitor or maybe get randomized to some of the newer trials looking to escalate therapy if you did not have a complete response. So we're hopeful that all of those are gonna improve the survival even more. And the thing that they found on this study was that if you did have a complete response, the addition of Keytruda only improved survival by about 1%. And again, these are averages, but that magnitude really came from those that did not have a complete response. And so now there's actually a de-escalation trial for patients who had a complete response looking to see is, well, do you really need to continue Keytruda in the adjuvant post-surgery setting if you had a complete response? So. That's where things are with Keynote 522, where we are with triple negative breast cancer treatment right now. Um, I'm sure you guys have questions, so put them in the comments and I will try to get to as many as I can and stay tuned for lots more ESMO content coming.